strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Heather Morris is best known for her role on the TV show Glee, but if you Google her name, you'll see that she's also infamous for nude photos posted online, adding her to a long list of celebrities with otherwise squeaky clean images, including Vanessa Hudgens from High School Musical and Adrian Bailon from Cheetah Girls, caught up in nude photos they say were leaked or hacked and put online. But it's not just the famous. If you've ever taken a naughty picture of yourself and texted or emailed it to a lover, prepare to get a chill down your spine. It never stops. People are submitting all the time. Hunter Moore is a 26-year-old web renegade. Got my alcoholism taken care of for the rest of the week. And his website, Is Anyone Up, was designed for public humiliation on a scale only the internet can offer. Is Anyone Up? It's um, where revengeful exes come for a peace of mind. What does that mean? Your ex-girlfriend who you've done dirty, she can come to my site and we will uh, take care of her. Hunter's website was designed so scorned lovers could post dirty pictures of their exes online without their permission for everyone to see. And just to make sure the person could be easily identified, the page included a screen grab of the victim's actual Facebook account and a link to their Twitter, too. He calls it revenge porn. It's public humiliation. Yeah, it is. And you are fine with blasting it out and basically ruining, in some cases, other people. I mean, to me, I don't know these people, so, and it's kind of anonymous to me. I think, uh... The people submitting it are the ones who should be, uh, you know, feeling bad when they do click that submit button. But so you have no empathy? No, they're just people, they're characters and avatars and icons on a screen. He's apparently not the only one who feels that way because our visit with Hunter opened a door to a weird world where online humiliation and revenge are a growing industry, a phenomenon which took our story in an unexpected direction. But first, you may be wondering, can Moore legally get away with this? Under current federal law, he's completely off the hook. Just as YouTube and Facebook host other people's content, is anyone up falls into the same category. The person submitting it is liable, not the website. Generally speaking, uh, the information provided by a third party is not something you can sue the website for. Hunter bragged to us about all the cease and desist letters and other complaints he'd received okay. from people's Fire lawyers, lawyer. arguments he claimed didn't hold up. He even boasted about the woman who came to his door looking for her own brand of revenge. I was walking out of my house one day and out of nowhere, the girl we had posted, or I had posted, she stuck me in the shoulder with a big pen. And uh, this is the scar I have left. They had to surgically Whoa. remove it. He told us nothing could stop him. And then I just replied back with LOL. 25-year-old aspiring actress Kayla Laws is one of Hunter's many humiliated victims. But here's the problem. She says she had nude photos of herself on her computer, but never sent them to anyone. I had taken the photos of myself. I had stored them on my computer, just for no reason at all. So how did they end up on his site? Kayla says, she was hacked. It's embarrassing to know that they've seen that photo of me and they know what I look like now, topless, because of that site. This is the file on Hunter Moore. Hunter may have hit the wrong victim this time actually, because yeah, her mother, Charlotte Laws, is, is a private investigator. We first asked him and sent him a cease and desist and a takedown notice and he basically said screw off in so many words. But then, out of nowhere, isanyoneup.com was gone. The site was sold, shut down, and redirected to Bullyville, of all things, an anti-bullying website. When we tracked down the man who made it happen, we found a businessman and former Marine who says he did a public service by shutting down despicable content. And so you shut it down, you say, as a public service. Absolutely, there's no doubt about it. By taking over Hunter's site, James McGibney instantly brought in two million visitors to his new venture, which by the way is closely tied to another revenge-based website he owns, something called Cheaterville. There's just a full day That's just of, of, of just alleged cheaters. A website where anyone can accuse someone of cheating on a spouse or a partner and post it, no proof required. 
did you really shut it down for the public good or because you know it's a website with a huge built-in audience and there you go you're launching another site you got a lot of eyeballs do you know what kind of base he had the subscriber base he had it's not the type of people i want on bullyville they're gonna have to like bullyville so yet his business is what some call a cleaner version of hunter's revenge porn it essentially turns the practice of outing alleged cheaters into sport it was not started for revenge or malicious intent it was you know designed to warn people and i'm never going to change that that thought because that's what i believe in Come here. Charlotte Laws didn't stop with that cease and desist letter. She says she contacted the FBI, all to prove her theory that Hunter Moore's revenge porn included material stolen from innocent victims' computers. It wasn't really a porn site. It was a site about humiliating and hurting people. The FBI won't comment on Hunter or his site, but he denies all of it and says he's never hacked anyone's naked pictures. I think at some point when you get older, you might look back at the person you are now of course. and have some regret. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to grow and change as a person. But right now, in this time, uh, I'm going to take full advantage of people's mistakes and what I've created. Hunter Moore may have turned humiliation into a business model, but he hasn't cornered the market on getting even. And today, revenge is something <laughs> he's trying to avoid. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Las Vegas.